Hey Bats and Ghouls, Ian here. Hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, let's see, so I had one video come out about a couple days ago. Back in my office again. Um, you can kind of see, still have a lot to work on here. But that's alright, you know, that comes with moving. Um, and today I didn't feel like poofing up my hair. It's getting kind of frazzled, so this is what my hair looks like straight down. Um, so today's episode, I'm going to do a music video reaction, and I want to kind of set this up as a tag. Um, I think this could be something kind of fun to do. So I'm going to do three videos here. I'm going to do the new wingtips video that came out last week. I'm going to do um, a video that was recommended to me, again, by a friend named Keaton. Um, it's by an art collective group called The Residents. The song is called Constantinople. Um, I have not watched this yet, so I have no idea. None of these videos, um, by the way, I haven't watched them. And the third one I'm going to do that I just saw and I thought, hey, this would be a great addition, is um, Snoop Dogg, of all things. He did a cover of Red Right Hand from the, the TV show Peaky Blinders. Peaky Binders. I'm, I haven't watched it. I'm sort of familiar with it. In fact, I think it's in my Netflix queue. But um, yeah, Peaky Binders. And uh, anyways, so yeah, Snoop Dogg did a cover of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Red Right Hand, and I'm really curious to see how it came out. Um, I listened to it, didn't watch the video, and so you can get my full reaction with that. So yeah, um, and as far as this being a tag, I'm going to go ahead and tag um, a couple people here. I'm going to start out with uh, Obscura Undead. They're already doing music reaction videos, but I thought like a good tag could be fun to put in with it um, and kind of maybe keep this going around. Uh, I'm going to tag Skullgirdle RIP and I'm going to also tag Lux X Nilo, um, the charming uh, young lady over in Portugal who uh, she's tagged me in another video in the past so I thought those three could be good ones if you guys have music videos you want to see me react to like um, let me know I try to keep up with what's new for music but you know things are constantly shifting and changing and I'm not always on top of everything so yeah go ahead and like tag me in a video if you want or comment below and tell me what you want to see me react to so I know the reaction videos are kind of becoming a popular thing on YouTube and um, it's interesting. Everybody has a different take and it's genuine and it's real. So, all right. Um, okay. So like I said, I'm going to do wing tips first and the video I'm doing is uh, it came out September 20th. So that is a week ago from today that I'm recording this. Uh, the video is here and now. And it is the third single from their debut album, Exposure Therapy. I really like two of the songs that I've heard so far from it. My favorite being Deaf Pursuit. Um, if you're not familiar with Wingtips, they're a... I would put them in more like the dark synth wave, dark synth pop kind of category. Um, but they're playing at Absolution Fest next week in Tampa. It's a two-day festival, uh, some goth, and... EBM type bands coming into town so let's see how this works out and hopefully you guys can hear me because I've been recording all this on my phone and I took the phone case off so I, I think the last video I did the audio was a little off um, or not as high as I'd like it I could have increased like the gain on it but regardless uh, let me know what you think and hopefully you can hear me okay and there's no issues and let's check this out um, all right, so my first impression is looking at this. I see the, looks like a drone flyover. I like the synth sounds. I love their openings with their, their named wingtips here and now. Like, it looks like you're watching something really cinematic um, instead of a typical video. I do like the drone flyover. Very colorful, very bright. And I do like the vocals of um, their lead singer. I think his name is Vincent. God, these drones, like, they're cheap enough now. I might get one just to do a video with. Love 
lot of cool flybys. Oh, there we go. There's the guys and, and gals of wingtips, guy and girl. Very colorful. Not your typical morbidy ah goth type music or, or appearance, you know. Digging his blazer, that blue blazer. Let's get like the yellow Wednesday dress going down. Huh. Yeah, definite sad boy music. I always get like the Thompson Twins vibe from them, even though it's a duo here with wingtips and not a trio. Um, wherever they shot this is gorgeous still. And it looks like a state park, but maybe along the coast. So colorful. Alright, this is cool. What is this? Tower. Yeah, they're definitely at like some kind of state park that they shot this. It's cool. It's really... Um, Very colorful and so weird, like him not being covered in sharp makeup, like I've seen in some of their other videos. Um, really like his blazer. Is that wrong to say? I like wearing blazers. Furniture outdoors. I would love to do that. They have like a picnic outdoors with like antique Victorian furniture. Except I don't know if I'd want to find a box chain to this furniture. So why is the box chain to the chair? Okay. Why is she sleeping? What is she pouring out? Is this like an Alice in Wonderland? Mm. Hmm. I really like where they're at though. Really pretty. Back with the GoPro, or the, the, the GoPro on a drone. Oh. I, the box chained to the chair, I don't get that, but it's not for me to get. It's an artist statement. Good location, though. You guys watching all this? Pay attention. It's a really pretty song. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to buy a drone now, damn it. All right. So that was here and now. Um, good job, guys. Like, that was... That was good. That was a great video. Like, it, other than the drone, it seems like the production value on it was minimal and everything really worked. Like, using your natural environment in your video saves a lot. And even if they had to go to a state park for it, it's just such a departure from what, like, a lot of, um, a lot of goth bands do. So I really like that. Like, they used a heck of a lot of color, um, in their video and they use natural color like they didn't rely on 
stark lighting and um, heavy makeups and, and stuff. They use their environment around them. So I really like that. And of course the sound, like I'm always impressed with the synth sounds that I hear from these guys. They, they definitely capture a lot of eighties um, vibes and even like early to mid nineties. So cool. I, I, uh, I liked it. All right. So on to the next video. We have, uh, this came from Keaton. He recommended the last video I did. This band or this artist, artist, artiste, uh, they're not a goth band. It's The Residents. I had to look them up. It sounded familiar. They're an art collective, best known for their avant-garde music and multimedia works. So I'm expecting something kind of weird and crazy in this video. Um, we shall see. So let's check out The Residents, Constantinople. Um, this looks like it came out off of the album 80 Aching Orphans, 45 Years of the Residence, 4 CD Hardback Book Anthology Set. Um, so I don't know where originally, um, the song came from, like what, like when it was released or, um, anything, but let's watch and see what we have here. I have not seen this, so I have no idea what this is. I don't know what I'm in for. Okay. Oh my God, this looks like the Emperor from Star Wars with the, somebody's mouth super imposed. What the? All right, guys, I have no idea what the heck I'm watching. Digital genitals, that was unnecessary. Why would you recommend I watch this video? Okay, so I did read that these eyeball with the top hat the giant head eyeballs with the top hat, like that's a signature thing they do in their shows. So, again, I only read about the band. I've never listened to them before, so I have no idea. This head is frightening. God, somebody had to be doing like a lot of drugs when they made this. I never understand sometimes where the artists, like where an artist gets their inspiration from and what they're thinking. To be fair, in high school, my art class, my teacher, she liked my work and I think I'm a horrible artist uh, drawing wise. And she said that I was, uh, I had a very abstract, so I can see like a lot of crazy, I don't even know what you would call this cell of art, but it's definitely out there. But this floating dude, what does this have to do with Constantinople? Why? Why are you in a giant fat suit with your wiener hanging out? Why? And why is Emperor Papeltine so angry? Aside from being Emperor Papeltine. And this death dude with the black face and the giant teeth. Wow, that was something. Uh, thank you, Keaton. That was definitely something. <sighs> wow. All right, guys. Last video here. This is what I've been waiting for because I'm curious how they do this. Uh, Snoop Dogg. So this is listed as Snoop Dogg, parenthesis Shelby, performs Peaky Blinders theme, which is Nick Cave's red right hand, apparently. So, um... I'll put the links below of all the videos that I've looked at here, but let's see what we got. By the order of the Peaky Snoop Shelby. All right. I like the way they remix the instrumentals to this. I need to watch Peaky Blinders then. Take a little walk to the edge of town and go across the street. 
Mayor Snoop. Yeah. Po shizzle. Interspersing. This show looks great. Wow. He just reworked the lyrics as only Snoop could, and the beats work nice together. See, without having reference to the show, I don't know what's going on here. But, you know, here's Snoop doing Snoop. And how... I would actually really dig seeing, like, a duet of this, like, between Nick Cave and Snoop. And it wouldn't be out of the norm. I mean, Nick Cave has done stuff with, like, Kylie Minogue. So, like, doing things with pop figures or mainstream figures I don't think is out of the norm for Nick but I had no idea Peaky Blinders like or blinders excuse me I had no idea like that was they used the uh, song in their show I feel dumb Like he really did a He did a really good job with this. And I I'm not really big into Snoop Dogg but at all. But I appreciate him as a personality. But he really did a nice mix with this. Just seeing the video for this, though, the way they're interlacing, um, like, clips from the show, like, definitely makes me want to check the show out. Like I said, it's in my queue, and why I don't know why I'm calling it Peaky Binders when it's Blinders? Uh-huh. That's cool. And this is cool. I'm I'm really digging it. I cool. All right. Well, there you go. All right. So I did uh, three videos today. And before I ramble on any further, I'll let you all go. Thanks for checking it out. I hope you liked what I, my reactions were to this. Subscribe, like. Thumbs it up, thumbs it down. Just let me know what you thought of it either way, um, if you could. And um, yeah, if you have videos you want to see me react to, like I said, I'll reiterate here. The people that I tagged in this are going to be Skullgirdle, Obscura Undead, and Lux X Nilo. Um, thank you all, and as always, uh, keep it spooky, and until next time.